Now, it was called, appropriately enough, A Landscape of Lies, a multi-million pound Hollywood blockbuster with an innocent cast of stars which even won an award. Except this was a film which was never actually made it to the point of full release, just as a few minutes of unusable footage ever saw the light of day. Today, five men were jailed as part of a £2.8 million credit fraud over the make-believe movie that cobbled together in an effort to cover up their scam. Harry Smith has this. It had all the gloss of a big-time movie, an alleged budget of £19 million and some box office star names, but it all turned out to be a sham. It was the brainchild of Bashir al Asa, who calculated he could make nearly £3 million claiming back VAT and film tax credits. But the revenue became suspicious. Eventually, they arrested five of those involved and charged them with fraud. Once they'd been arrested, the fraudsters decided they should try and cover their tracks by making a real movie. They invested £80,000, hired real crews, changed the working title from a landscape of lives to a landscape of lies. Their efforts actually won a prize at the 2012 Las Vegas Film Festival, but that didn't impress the judge here at Southwark Crown Court. The man who was duped into directing the prize-winning version was an innocent victim, as were all the actors and technicians. For a film that's literally had to be written, casted, rehearsed, filmed and taken all the way through in four months for £84,000 to go on to win an award, get shown at Cannes, get shown at Marbella Film Festival, very proud. Bring leader Issa was jailed for six and a half years. The others got a total of just over 20 years between them. Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs said the sentences show that anyone trying to illegally exploit rules to encourage genuine British filmmakers would face the full force of the law.